it's Vicky here and um, I'm um, doing a proper video woohoo it's been a while and like I said last week I am back so I'm gonna try and do like at least a video a week is what I'm probably looking at maximum doing and um, you may get more than one video from me but here we go Oh, and for a lot of you that don't know, or aren't friends with me on Facebook, I got engaged in the time I've been away. And no, before you ask, it won't be a hand fasting ceremony, which I wish it would be, but uh, my boyfriend is not pagan. Well, my fiancé now, he is not pagan, so it will not be a hand fasting. And it won't be a church wedding, because obviously... I wouldn't go into a church to have a wedding. So we are going to do it in a hotel. And then if I can persuade him, he might do hand fasting in the future for me. But that's um, that's for another time. But that's what that's a quick update that I forgot to put in my last video. But those of you that are friends with me on Facebook would already know that this has happened. Because it was March and it shows just how long it's been since I've been doing videos. But anyway, I thought I'd do a video today for a lot of the people that are going, well, kids and teenagers um, going back to school. And I thought this might be an appropriate video for everyone. Um, it's um, Basically, it's going to be a spell about how to overcome shyness. Okay, so I'm just going to, when I'm looking down, I'm reading the spell to, from my book. Okay, for this spell, you will need a tissue or handkerchief a bottle of violet essence oil and a packet of violet sweets. Now if you're in England, they're called Palmer Violets. They're amazing sweets. They taste like the smell of flowers. They are so good. I know a lot of people don't like them, but they are they are the nicest sweets ever. Um, now violets have long been thought of as a shy flower and so they will help to strengthen the spell. Now take all three items to your altar and lay them out in a row. Light the candles on your altar as a sign that you are about to work some magic. Think about your shyness and what situations have been the most difficult for you. Reading aloud of class is basically one of the biggest examples say if the teacher calls on you and you get asked to say read something from a book aloud. I know it can be hard for a lot of people because it was hard for me. Um, or basically talking to someone like the opposite sex if you are feeling shy around someone you like. Um, so imagine yourself in those situations. But without your shyness holding you back, imagine that everything you say not only comes out right, but has everyone around you simply enthralled, including the opposite sex, obviously. Hold that thought as you eat a violet sweet and then splash two or three drops of violet oil in your handkerchief. Now place the sweets and the handkerchief together and using your wand draw a pentagram in the air directly over them and say the following incantation. I enchant these items magically to relieve me of my shyness so it be and blow out the candles. Now take the handkerchief and sweets to school with you and try really hard to overcome your shyness, knowing that you have magic on your side. Keep um, sniffing the handkerchief. If necessary, pretend you have a cold to remind you of the spell. And that's basically um, most of it. But whenever you feel you have done particularly well, reward yourself with the violet sweet at break times. Cast the spell as often as you need to, and you will soon have your shyness under control. To enhance the spell, add a few drops of violet oil to your bath water. So basically, this is this is the sort of spell that you would um, do for shyness. And I, and I can see it in other situations as well, not, not only for people that are going back to school, but any situation, because we all have, any of us can have moments where we're quite shy and just don't want to do anything and can't speak to something or speak out loud because it's it's too much for us so this could help anyone really so i hope you've enjoyed this spell i just want to show you my new pentagram necklace it is oops it's a big pentagram now i found this in a shop called new look in england 
Now, this is the first time I've seen an actual branded shop that sells clothes selling these. But I liked it. I picked it up. I cleansed it and I kept hold of it. But I think what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of people wearing pentagrams now as a fashion statement. So just be be known that it's now become fashionable to wear a pentagram. So I don't know when that started, who started that or what, but hey ho. Anyway, um, if you've got any requests that you want videos doing from me or anything like that, I am happy to do videos for you all. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave comments or message me. Um, and basically that's it. I will be doing more spells um, for you and I'm going to try and get back to doing the ruins because at one point I was going through the ruins, um, each and every one of the meanings. And I also need to start doing tarot spreads so you know which to, what, how to do a tarot spread. So that's basically it for today and I hope you've enjoyed my video and bless it be.